Hi, Russell Letterman here for Dankmeyer Optical. I'm going to show you the IVB star diagonal. Now, IVB stands for interlocking visual back, and here's the diagonal. You can see on the telescope side it has a two inch nose piece and also these sprockets. Now, this is the visual back that threads onto the telescope, and if you look closely, you can see it has sprockets on the side where the diagonal slips in, and they interface. Let's thread these thumb screws out a little. They interface and they interlock. And once they're interlocked, you just turn these set screws down, and it's not going to turn. It just simply can't turn. So we're going to loosen these set screws, and I want to point out that this nose piece is actually held on by internal set screws so that it will not thread out. These are optional, but they're there, and uh, you can just lock that nose piece in so there's no way it's going to turn. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to thread this visual back onto your, onto your SCT. So here, we're going to thread it on, but before we do, I want to show you. There are small set screws on this as well, and uh, there are three of them. We'll thread it on just like that. Now look, these set screws have ended up sort of tilted to the side here. If you want to straighten them out and have them facing up or even have them facing downward, you can do that and then take a small set screwdriver slot head and you can turn in these set screws so that it can't thread off now. I've only turned in one, thread, one set screw right on top, but you can turn in all three so there's no way that it can, um, it can thread off. Now, we'll put our diagonal in, and we'll interlock the two sprockets, and there we go. This will not turn accidentally. Now, if your wedge points you in a different direction, and the diagonal is, let's say, facing this way, downward, you want to just loosen your thumb screws, Pull this out just a bit, and you know there is a groove so that it won't fall out. Rotate it upward, push it back in so that the sprockets are interlocking. Turn down the thumb screws, and there you go. You're not going to accidentally turn down anymore and drop those eyepieces to the ground. So thanks for listening.